For all things Halloween, this is Haunt Former, and welcome back to another 2015 Spirit Halloween video. Now, the video I posted a while ago, well not really a while, about a week ago or so, of my 2015 Spirit Halloween theme ideas was very successful and very popular. So I thought, what other videos could I make? Then I was thinking, what if I made a list of 10 horror characters that should be a spirit Halloween prop? And that's what this video is going to be covering today. So here they are, 10 characters that should be made into Halloween props. Just before I get this video started, I just wanted to leave a disclaimer for anybody watching. And that is that most, if not all, of these props are copyrighted and licensed. So, they would be harder for Spirit Halloween and any company to make. But I am saying this video um, as if they got the copyright that they should make these props. Number 10 is the Killers from the Purge movie. The first one more specifically. Now, these characters were really creepy in the movie, and they had those creepy looking smiley masks. And I think that they would be cool characters to see in Spirit Halloween because they are new and different. And they're really creepy, especially if they had some big knives that they could hold and maybe move around and do chopping motions. Maybe even if they made the leader um, prop, they could have him saying some of the phrases from the movie, along with some menacing smiles. And I think that these characters would definitely be good sellers. Number 9 is a Slappy the Dummy prop. Um, now, Slappy is from the beloved and very popular Goosebumps book series and the series that was on television. Now, Slappy is an interesting character. He may not be the scariest horror character, but he's definitely very iconic, especially in the Goosebumps world. Probably the number one most recognized character. And also, it would be different to see a character from something we've never seen any props from before. Goosebumps which is a big part of my childhood, personally, and it would be really cool to see him come back. Maybe he, he could even could um, rise up like the Reagan did, and maybe say some phrases from the TV show. Number eight is a Leprechaun prop from the horror movie Leprechaun. Now, this character would also be really creepy, and he would be shorter than a lot of the other props, but I think he'd be really creepy as a standalone prop from the movie Leprechaun, kind of like the walking um, dead girl was a few years ago. This prop would be really cool, and he could save catchphrases from the movie and maybe um, be hunched over and move around back and forth as he says his phrases. Um, now, he would be really creepy, and I bet he would be a pretty good seller, but he may not be as well known as some other horror characters. Number seven is an alien from the movie Aliens. Now, I really do want to see the movie Aliens, but shockingly, I've never seen the movie. And I'm a big fan of Aliens, so that's kind of shocking. However, this alien looks really creepy and really cool. I think that this alien would definitely make a great prop. And so many people know the movie, I'm sure he would be a top seller. Now this alien would probably be more on the expensive side since he's licensed and very big. Number six is a Cujo prop. Now this one would be a little bit weird, and I understand it's not maybe exactly what Spirit Halloween would make, but I think this would be a cool prop for Stephen King fans and horror fans in general. I think this, this prop would be on the less expensive side since it's just basically a dog prop, but maybe it could be actually licensed from the movie Cujo, and I think that would be very cool to see. It's a different prop, and maybe it could be around $100, and I think a lot of people would definitely be interested in it. Number five is a Norman Bates prop from the movie Psycho. Now, personally, Psycho is probably my favorite horror movie. It's not too gory, and it has the right amount of suspense to make a very creepy horror movie. Now, I think if they made a prop of Norman Bates, I think they should make one where he's dressed as his mother from the ending of the movie where he, like, has the knife up. And I think that would be really cool, and he could do a slashing motion with it and move back and forth. Now, we've never seen a psycho prop before, 
but I think it would be really cool to see. I definitely think it'd be different, and I definitely probably want to get one. Number four is a creature from the Black Lagoon prop. Now, I've talked about this character in my themes video, but I really thought I'd address him again. Now, I know a lot of people really enjoy classic horror characters as much as I do, but I think one of the characters that hasn't been given enough light is the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I know this is probably one of everybody's favorite monsters. He's definitely up on my top five, uh, probably. But I really think that he would be a good prop to see at Spirit Halloween. He'd be a throwback prop, and he could just make noises and, like, lunge, or kind of do movements like the Frankenstein and Nosferatu did. But I definitely think that this prop is definitely worth it, and a lot of fans would love to have one. Number three is a stripe prop from the movie Gremlins. Now, this prop would probably be number one on this list, but I'm also trying to make this list not only for me personally, but for a lot of people. Um, so he's not going to be number one, but it, on my top ten, he would be number one. The reason is I've been a huge Gremlins fan for basically all of my life, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Now... This gremlin prop would be really cool, and he would be based off the gremlin stripe from the movie. He could have a stripe on his head, uh, like the movie shows. I think he could make the gremlin noises, and he could, like, move around, kind of like they did in the kitchen scene. And I think that this prop would definitely be a great seller, and he'd be very different. Um, now, for price-wise, maybe he's about 100 to 150 since he's licensed, but of course he'd be uh, rather small, maybe like 3 feet or about as tall as the roaming antique doll. Number two is a Chucky prop. Now, I know a lot of people would say Chucky's number one, but I'm going to put him as number two because we've kind of seen a Chucky prop at the Spencer's stores, which is um, kind of another uh, spirit Halloween, technically. But um, I would really like to see an animated Chucky. We've seen the doll, but... Um, maybe if they took the same design Jimmy had when they made that um, small version and incorporated it into that doll, they could make a life-size, well, life-size for Chucky, doll. And I think it'd be really cool and a great seller. This prop would maybe be a $150 to $200 since he's licensed and a very well-known character. And number one, something I've been waiting for for a long, long time is a Billy the Puppet Jigsaw life-size prop. Now, Billy is from Saw, and I've never seen the movie. I thought they've always been too gross for me to see. I'm not good with blood, which is weird because I like Halloween. But that doesn't mean I don't like the character. He's really creepy and a creepy-looking puppet, and I really think that he deserves to have his own life-size prop. If you agree, please let me know in the comments. I think he would be really creepy either standing up or on his tricycle. He could either ride around or just be, um, or he could just stay still. And he could say phrases from the movie and do his signature laugh. So those were my top 10 uh, props that Spirit Halloween should make. And yes, they were licensed, but I think that Spirit Halloween could probably pull it off. We've seen so many licensed characters. Let me know what your top 10 are in the comments below, or let me know what number 1 is. And no, I didn't mention any 5 Nights at Freddy's characters, even though they would be on the list. But I was thinking more along the lines of movie characters, because it would be kind of hard for Spirit to get the license, because 5 Nights at Freddy's is relatively new. So I was trying to think logistically, but definitely they would be on this list as well. Thank you for watching! And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Halloween videos. And of course, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.